Fold, put into place, press firmly. Origami artist Sifo Mabona has everything under control. Well, almost. With this project, he's stepping into new territory, building a life-size elephant. This is where the hind leg will be, the second leg there, and you can guess what this is. The elephant's tail. From the 15 by 15 meter large piece of paper, specially made in the U.S., should emerge a life-size elephant. It's no easy task, even for an origami genius like Mabona. To make sure everything is on track, the artist always refers back to small models. Having an overview of the project is one thing, but ensuring stability for these huge sheets of paper is something else altogether. Elephantum in that size works with the fold and the paper. For an elephant this size, the paper holds well and it's quite stable. With bigger sheets, it becomes as soft as a paper napkin. The fold is unstable and falls down. That's why we need to fix it. Also nicht so stabil und dann geht er wieder ab. Und das ist aber nötig, dass man ihn fixiert. In order to be able to stand, the elephant needs a wooden frame. After four weeks, the elephant comes to life in full size. Despite being an unprecedented challenge, the origami artist is pleased with his work. Ich muss sagen, dass ich I'm happy with the result. Actually, I'm almost happier than I expected I'd be. The paper elephant, displayed in Beromunster, a village not far from Lucerne, cost 25,000 Swiss francs. It was financed by donations from around the world.